Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be repairing this USB mouse which has an issue with its left click but no issues with the right and middle click whatsoever. This comes from the HP family. Let's keep it aside and take a look at this cheap Chinese mouse. Again this has the same issue with its left click but no issues with the right and middle click whatsoever. We'll be using this as a donor mouse. It is a cheap Chinese Lifetech branded mouse. Let's start with the disassembly process. As you see, like a moron, I was looking for hidden screws, which is very typical of HP products. Remorsefully, there weren't any. So I rather started unscrewing the one and only screw on this thing, which held this case and the PCB together. Granted, it looks quite pathetic from the inside, but this thing is extremely old. But anyways, I'll provide it with a thorough cleaning in a later part of the video. Time for the cheap Chinese donor mouse. There's, there's only one screw that held the entire contraption together. Oh boy, it is in a much better condition because it only worked for 2 months. Lucky for us, they both have the exact same switches. The only difference is the color. On the left, we have the donor mouse while on the right is the HP. Out of the goodwill of my heart, I provided it with a gentle cleanup. Yes, like an idiot, I am using a paintbrush for this task. It is time to desolder the switches from the donor board. I applied some flux which helps the solder to flow much better. To desolder, I will be using a brand new desoldering pump. As I am desoldering the switches, what you can do in the meantime is to hit like and subscribe. Time to remove the faulty switch from the HP mouse. It fell off before I was done. Anyways, we got him. Finally, I placed the good one in its place and proceeded with the soldering or soldering, however you pronounce it. As for the final touch up, I cleaned up the PCB, which I should have done before, but who cares? Yes, like an idiot, I am using a paintbrush for this task. Like I promised, I am cleaning the case that had been collecting dust for like, what, 500 years or so? As a medium to fill in the script, I just want to share that I am currently working on an induction heater as well as an amplifier. Their videos will be out shortly after my exams are over. As you see, everything has been assembled back in its place. I am applying a bit of hot glue on the wire joints because one of the wires came off during the assembly process. Hot glue X has a strain relief for the wires. Finally, I put everything back together. First, I placed the case in its place, then proceeded with doing the only screw on this contraption. I know you like the way I describe. So why not subscribe? Let me address some of the issues that I faced with this thing. At times it would be irresponsive. It would only pass single click to the PC even though I press the button twice and at times it would be over responsive. It would pass double clicks to the PC even though I had pressed the button only once. But after this simple fix all of that issues have been gone. And now single and double clicks work the way they are supposed to. As always, go check out some of the other videos on my channel. If that is the type of content you like to watch, then consider subscribing and bye for now.